Hello Aries, welcome to your monthly reading. So Aries, these messages are going to be for the month of May. That's right. We're speeding through 2023. I'm going to pull general love and career. Um, not every message will be for you. Just take what applies, leave the rest. Also come back at the end of the month um, in order to see how much resonated. So Spirit, give me some messages for Aries. Give me a general energy for Aries, please. If you hear noise, it's my niece. Um, she's playing. I have anxiety. The number 18, the number 9 could be significant. Give me a message for love. Why is love here for Aries? I have, oh, healer of all ages. So the number 6, the number 5, or 1. Give me an energy for the career. What is the message? Okay, so I have man holding a coin, the number 7, 43, 34 could be significant. So let's tap in. Tell me why is anxiety here for the general energy? I have the five of cups. So somebody is going to be in regret in the month of May. Yeah, somebody is going to be feeling at a loss. Give me another energy for anxiety. The Ten of Wands. Something is just too much. Something is a lot. It's a struggle. It's a huge burden. Um, also, in the month of May, like Aries, if you know that a friend is going through a lot, if they have a lot of burdens, um, check on your friend. Yeah, because somebody could um, be having anxiety, depression here. Somebody feels overloaded. Give me an energy on the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here for Aries? I have the Ace of Swords. So for some of you, this could be somebody who lied to you and they regret lying to you. Ten of Wands, this person could have lied to you a lot. Told you one lie after another lie after another. Why is the Five of Cups here for Aries? What is the message? So for some of you, this could be somebody feeling guilty about lying to you with this anxiety card here. Why is the Five of Cups here for Aries? What is the message? strength you know what this person um they felt like they could leo energy somebody felt like they could lie to you like they didn't see anything wrong with it at the time somebody didn't see anything wrong with manipulating you but now they're in the nine of swords they're stressing out somebody knows that whatever they said you know was wrong like whatever lie they told it wasn't right somebody could feel conviction in the month of May. Give me another energy for strength. Why is strength here for Aries? What is the message? I have the Queen of Swords. Give me another energy on strength. Why is strength here for Aries? What is the message? I have the Empress. So for some of you, you're going to be vindicated in the month of may so somebody lied on you here and they feel remorseful for it but the truth is going to come out it's almost like somebody's being forced to tell the truth you could definitely be in this empress energy you could have libra taurus highly aspected but yeah you're going to be vindicated this is somebody who told multiple lies and they didn't want to give it up they kept telling lies on you so yeah somebody's worried now because they're going to be seen as a liar. The truth is prevailing. Why is the Ten of Wands here? What is the energy? For some of you, this could be multiple people. This could be family, friends. Give me another energy on the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Aries? What is the energy? Yeah, I can't make it up. Yeah, this is like multiple people lying on one person. That's what this is, I'm telling you, but vindication is here. Yeah, there's some type of evidence that's going to come out. Like, this is God in the mist, and your name is going to be clear. Something could actually have to do with someone's name being clear. Like, somebody could have a legal case here. Somebody could be um, going through the court system. And then I'm hearing brought up on charges. So, yeah, somebody's name is going to be clear regarding some type of legal issue. Some type of evidence is going to be presented. You know, that message is not for everyone. Give me another energy on the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here for Aries? What is the energy? Why is the Ten of Wands here for Aries? What is the energy? The Three of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like um, once this truth comes out, 
once you find out what was said about you, who said what for some of you, you're finally going to be able to heal and just let the situation go. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be cutting off a lot of people in your life after finding out, you know, what's been done behind your back. These are people you definitely had love for, you were genuine with. Um, there's just no reason for this person or these people to do what they did other than jealousy, other just to spite you. Why is anxiety here for Aries? What is the energy? Well, give me something on the Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here for Aries? What is the message? Why is the Three of Swords here for Aries? What is the energy? Yep, the hangman. Yeah, you're going to have to go heal <laughs> Pisces energy after you find out what was said about you, after you find out what these people did behind your back. Because for some of you, this is family. This is friends. These are people that you genuinely cared about. So, yeah, I feel like you're going to isolate yourself and just heal and just detach from whoever these family members, friends are. Why is anxiety here? What is the message? Why is anxiety here for Aries? What is the energy? The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so for some of you, this could be concerning your employment. You could be finding out that you had a lot of people against you, a lot of people lying on you that were working together to sabotage you, bring you down in some way. And I feel like whoever this group is, they're fearful of being found out. They're scared. But the truth is about to prevail. I definitely feel like it's been a long time coming. These people have been doing things behind your back for far too long. They've been thinking that they were going to get away with it. But no, justice is here. God is truly on your side. And they're about to see that. They're about to witness that. And they know they feel it. Like, they can't even really sleep at night. They have a guilty conscience. They know something is about to happen. Something is about to transpire. And what's about to take place is the truth. is getting ready to be revealed. And these people are going to be exposed. So if anybody has been working behind the scenes at your job. Um, but this family member's friends trying to plot on you. They're getting exposed. And like I said, this is going to be hurtful. You are going to have to isolate yourself and heal from this. But at least you will know who's who. At least you will know who's being real with you and who's not. So for your love energy, we have Hero of the Ages. So let's see what this is about. Why is Hero of the Ages here for Aries? Why is Hero of the Ages here for Aries? What's the message? So I have hurting. Give me another energy for Hero of the Ages. Why is this here for Aries? What is the message? Why is this here for Aries? What is the energy of spirit? Okay, so I have illusion. All right. So let's see what this is about. Why is hurting here? What is the message? Why is hurting here for Aries? What is the message, Spirit? Why is hurting here? Okay, so I have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. We have Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? What is the message? The world. So something is over in the month of May. Yeah, somebody's feelings is going to be heard. I feel like somebody's choosing to no longer invest in the situation. Um, I'm just getting like bad karma here. Um, this is somebody's karma to get left behind for some of you and i'm also getting for others of you like ever since you've been with this person you've been getting bad karma things have not been working out for you as well things been slowing up and you've been realizing this or you finally are going to realize this in the month of may like you've been getting karma bad karma because of who you're connected to why is the will of fortune here yes like nothing is panning out for you Things are going wrong. Yeah. Three of Swords. Yeah. This is somebody's judgment to get left behind. Yep. Somebody um, could be connected to an Empress in the reverse. This could be the mother of your child, your children. Libra Taurus energy. Somebody's very toxic, low vibrational. 
Give me an energy for illusion. Why is illusion here? It's like somebody's pulling back their energy from this person and they're going to heal. Somebody's making a final call on a situation. And a lot has to do with like the type of karma this person has been receiving ever since they've been with this empress in reverse. When I tell you things in this masculine or feminist life has been going downward quickly, this person has been losing a lot and did not know why, but somebody is going to get an aha moment. If they haven't already, why is illusion here? They're going to be realizing that whoever they're connected to is false. Yeah, Ace of Cups. This is somebody who was showing fake love. They really didn't love you. They really didn't love this person. Give me another energy on illusion. Why is illusion here? I have the Two of Pentacles. I feel like this person juggled your feelings. <laughs> like, literally. Somebody juggled your heart here. They played with you. They play with your emotions. And you're done. You're tired of that. You're tired of being hurt. Give me an energy for the Ace of Cups. Like this person acted like they love you. Acted like they wanted to be there. But they really didn't. They showed you anything but love. They didn't really invest in the situation. They didn't really give to it like they were supposed to. And it left you in this three of swords. It left you heartbroken. And so now in return, by you walking away and you choosing not to invest now, you choosing to close out a cycle, they're going to be in this heartbreak energy. But that's their karma. Somebody's going to be made to feel how they made you feel. Give me an energy on the Ace of Cups. The Magician. Virgo Gemini energy. Give me another message for the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Aries? What is the energy? Why is the Ace of Cups here for Aries? The Knight of Cups. For some of you, um, you're manifesting new love in the month of may be mindful though aries because whoever's coming towards you there is some lies here there's some deception somebody could be juggling and they're not telling you they're making you feel like you're the only one but they have options or another person they're dealing with give me another energy for the two of pentacles yeah the page of swords yeah you're going to find out that whoever this person is that you're dealing with whoever has recently came into your life or who is coming in in the month of may that they're just Juggling you, they have someone else. For some of you, this person is like in a whole nother commitment. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? One more message, please. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Aries? What is the energy? Give me another message, please, for Aries. Yep, the Nine of Cups. I feel like you're just going to choose to be single and love on yourself, whether you're walking away from a toxic relationship where you know it was one-sided this person really didn't give anything to it somebody was just playing with your emotions or you're finding out that whoever you know you are connecting to this new love energy is actually juggling you with somebody else you're going to be choosing yourself in the month of may give me an energy for healer of all ages I feel like with this healer of all ages, you're able to be in this nine of cups energy because you have healed or that's going to be a main focus for you. You're healing. Really getting to um, the root of your issues. I have the queen of wands. Yeah, choosing to be single. That's what this is. Loving on yourself. You're very attractive, very much a go-getter. You know your worth and you're not willing to settle. For a lot of you, you've already done your shadow work. Um, you've healed from past childhood traumas, broken a lot of generational curses, and you're just not willing to settle for anything less than you deserve. So nine of cups, please. you're going to be celebrating by yourself. But you're going to be happy about it. You know, you're someone that doesn't mind being alone. Which is beautiful. I always say we all need a season of aloneness to fully discover who we are. To love on ourselves. It's like if we can't love on ourselves, then we can't expect anyone else to love us. You know, who's going to treat you better than you? So let's move on to your career energy. We have man holding a coin. 
Why is man holding a coin here for Aries for the career energy? Why is this here for Aries for the career energy? The Hermit, Virgo energy, give me another message. Ooh, we what? The Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy. You don't see it, but there's some type of opportunity coming towards you in the month of May, Aries. Look at you. Give me an energy for the Hermit. Why is the Hermit here for Aries? What is the message? The Seven of Swords. Somebody could be secretly trying to sabotage this opportunity for you. So be mindful. Please don't tell people at your job about any type of promotion you're going for. Just keep it to yourself. You have a hater here in the midst. Somebody who's secretly jealous. But they celebrate you in your face and talk, with, and talk about you behind your back. Give me an energy for the hermit. Why is the hermit here? temperance but time is going to reveal yeah this is somebody who's been secretly plotting on you for a while now they've been lying on you as well but whoever this co-worker is for some of you i'm even hearing like this is a business partner it's time for this person to be exposed so a fake co-worker is going to be exposed in the month of may and it's even going back to this three of pentacles energy here yeah like somebody been lying here and these lies are getting ready to come out it's time this is happening in divine timing this person has been doing too much behind your back for far too long yeah the hierophant in the the hierophant i was going to say in the reverse but the hierophant upright but since i was going to say in the reverse for some of you this could also have something to do with like your super your supervisor somebody who misuses their power their authority they show up to the world like this but they're really in the reverse this is somebody that puts on a good front give me an energy for the will of fortune so somebody could um, be finding out something about their supervisor trying to um sabotage them i'm hearing something about undercut give me an energy for the will of fortune Wow, the five of pentacles. What? Listen, if you've been struggling, if you've been having any type of financial issues, there is something coming in in the month of May that is about to change your circumstances. Somebody's going from the five to the ten of pentacles. God is about to give you a double dose here. You're about to go to the top of the wheel. Yes, your circumstances are getting ready to change in the month of May. Somebody's been really going through it a hard time and it's just your season. For some of you, the reason why you've been struggling financially, the reason why things have been so hard for you is because you have somebody in the Seven of Swords energy secretly trying to sabotage your opportunities, secretly trying to ruin your career. But this temperance angel is coming to balance out the situation and you shall be on the top. Your finances are going to change drastically. Give me something on the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? For Aries, what is the energy? The Tower, yep, the Four of Wands. So this is somebody who could have brought you a tower, who could have made you lose your job or tried to make you lose your job. This is somebody who could have also like cost you a position, made you miss out on some type of promotion upgrade. But I'm telling you, Something about divine timing. It's like whatever this person wanted for you, no. They're going to get this. What goes around comes around. That's the balance. And it's like because they tried to sabotage you, because they wanted you in lack, the five of pentacles, because they got you fired or tried to get you fired, because they tried to take a position from you or make you miss out on an opportunity, spirit is like, I'm going to give you double for your trouble. So this person is going to have to watch you be abundant, be happy, have stability in spite of what they did to you or what they're trying to do. This person has been doing this in secret behind your back. This is somebody who also, with the Seven of Swords to the Temperance, they act all innocent, like they're an angel. This is somebody that throws a rock and hides their hands, but they do a lot of deceptive things behind the scenes. And for some of you, this is your boss. Give me an energy for man holding a coin. Why is man holding a coin here for Aries? What is the message? Why is man holding a coin here for Aries? What is the energy spirit? 
Why is this here? The King of Cups. Somebody's going to have compassion for you. That's what this is. Somebody's going to show compassion to you in the month of May. And they're going to give you some type of opportunity. Something's going to be life-changing for you here, Aries. Something that you don't expect. For some of you, this person has been watching you. Watching how you've been investing in yourself. Seeing how hard of a worker you are. Yeah, this is somebody that um, has been trying to block you. Whoever the Seven of Swords energy is, somebody's been trying to block something that's faded for you. Like whatever this opportunity is, like you're destined to have this. But somebody's been trying to block this. They have not been wanting things to work out in your favor. Seven of Pentacles. This is somebody that wants your investments not to pay off. Wants you to continuously wait. Have you in a waiting energy. And then I'm hearing jealous, but this is somebody that's doing this out of jealousy. For some of you, where this is your supervisor, again, they're using their power. They're abusing their power, I should say. Misusing it. But you shall get the victory in the end. Again, somebody's going to show compassion. There's something coming in, like the will of fortune is turning in your favor. Yeah, God is... Putting, putting it in this masculine's heart. This could be a feminine that operates more in her masculine energy. But God is placing it on this person's heart to give you some type of opportunity. Like your wishes are about to be granted. And whatever this person tried to take from you. Whatever you lost. Whatever you lost. Because for some of you, you were in this five of pentacles. Whatever you lost due to this circumstance. Due to you losing your job. For some of you, you may have even lost a home. Or maybe in jeopardy of losing a home. Like God is going to give you more. More than you were supposed to get originally. Just because of this person being in the seven of swords energy. And trying to plot against you. Trying to sabotage your opportunities. So let's pull a final message. Spirit, give me a final energy for Aries. A final energy for Aries. Wow. Okay, so I have two. Let it all go. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. Don't let pain, anger, or guilt control you. Yeah. So Aries, it just seems like a lot of people trying to do you wrong, you know. But count it all as joy because... God is revealing to you who your enemies are. Because for some of you, these are people that you love, who you thought had love for you. But no, God is exposing people in the month of May. But this is for your protection. Do not hold any grudges. Count it all as joy. Forgive them and move forward. And these people, the same people who lied on you, the same people that tried to sabotage you, is getting ready to watch you be blessed abundantly. You're still going to be happy. They're about to watch you eat. They're about to watch you be fruitful, have plenty. So forgive, let it go. Don't hold any resentment. Know that God is on your side and you're about to be blessed. And because of what they try to do to you, God is about to bless you double, triple for your trouble. So keep a smile on your face. Don't hold your head down. Overcome the enemy with joy. And then we have you are glowing. All eyes on you. Receive attention and affection. Your energy is magnetic. Yeah, for some of you, this is just giving me hater energy. Like people are just jealous of you. And that's what it is. Because of your glow, because of your confidence. But it's like, don't dim your light just because people are intimidated by it. Shine even more. Maybe your light will rub off on them. And they'll raise their vibration. Whether you know it or not, even though you may have people who are jealous of you. They actually are inspired by you at the same time. Let's get a scripture. Spirit, give me a scripture for Aries. I have and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. All things are working for your good. All of it, the good, the bad. All of it is working for your good. I'm getting on the gospel song. All of my good days outweigh my bad days. I won't complain. 
So just remember that, like, despite what you're going to be finding out in the month of May, despite what you go through here, Aries, know that all of your good days, if you just sit back and think over your life, if you just sit back and think for a moment, you will realize that all of your good days, they outweigh your bad days. So there's no need to complain because you're still blessed. So Aries, this is your reading. I hope it resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.